Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Uh, the other day I was doing a video for a different distribution. Uh, it was an XFCE desktop talking about custom time and date elements. The question was asked, can I do that in Cinnamon? The answer is yes. I'm going to show that as a video today. How to rearrange the furniture down here. You can put the year in the front. The um, Anyways, and you can probably notice that I have a 20 July instead of July 20th. Some people like that kind of stuff in, in uh, the European Union. But more importantly, whatever your thing is, you can rearrange the elements down there. And I'll talk about the standard ones also. Filming in 1080, adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. Subscription keys on the corner if you're not a subscriber. Got roughly 400 videos. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off my transparent panel so it's not uh, kind of giving us any kind of... Uh, hidden stuff so you can clearly see the black background here that's the only reason I turned it off so let me first start with standard settings now I'm gonna leave this calendar up here because it has a time on it alright so basically we're gonna to go to uh, system settings and first talk about basic settings which is time and date and I'll make this box a little bit bigger I'm using very large text today alright we're just gonna talk about the format box not the region so the default for the system is normally 24 hour clock and it uh, if you noticed that's not even close to being what it is that's because i'm using a custom format so i'm going to turn it off right click configure turning it off so now it's using whatever i have set for right here you can always do this later in case you uh you know after you watch this video and you're doing custom elements you can always turn that off and go right back to your standard settings so you don't have to worry about getting anything messed up now down here you'll see them there's no meridian meridian would be an AM and PM now you can see that so at 1 o'clock that turns into 1300 if I have the 24 hour clock but since I turned that off that means it's a 12 hour clock it may be confusing if you're reading this especially for new users but I'm in the 12 hour clock format right now display the date or not your choice okay if you want the seconds your choice I normally don't um, use default uh, use local default first day of the week what does that mean that's the calendar this part it uses Sunday normally I'll put this to Monday so you can see that right now not a big deal all right we're gonna move on from here I'm gonna turn this back on to 12 hour clock show date okay standard format and then I'm gonna right click on this and hit configure now my other video I made mention of the fact that uh, you go to a certain website and there's many out there uh, to do custom date strip time elements these things that are you build your own Linux Mint put a link in here for you you don't see it here though until I turn this on when I turn that on, show information on date syntax, if I click it, it opens up a web page for goodstirftime.com, and Mike has been doing this, I think, for a long time. Okay? I think he's done a very good job. So we can uh, build our own by using presets. We can build our own using elements, and we can get reference charts of what these percent symbols mean. I'll come back to this in a minute we can always just turn this off July 20th 20 July because I have this set already after you build these things I'm going to also make the recommendation to copy them into a standard um, give you an example of that let's assume that this is finished we hit uh, two things you can hit control A to highlight that line and hit control C to copy it or you can just right click on it then open up right click create a new document empty text file and paste that so you'll have a reference for this later in case you reinstall the system or you just want to copy this on another Linux Mint machine after you formulated all this stuff I'm not going to save that because I did one better I have three examples for you Frank is uh, made up name. 
I have three examples for you. Okay, I'll come back to this in a second. All right, so we have date format. That's the actual displayed format. And then we have the tool tip format. Now, when I point to that, you'll see in blue, Saturday, July 20th at the time. And below that is Saturday, 20 July, and then the time. That's because in the tool tip, there's two things that are reversed. You will see that the B and then the E. Here you'll see the E and then the B. That means the month and years, uh, sorry, month and day of the month have been transposed. In other words, reversed. All right, clicking on this brings up this website. All right, so again, we're dealing with strift time. Building your own elements. Okay. So we have presets and it'll build them in here. Copy. I'm going to hit control A in that box and hit delete and you'll see nothing on the panel. And then I'm going to hit paste because I copied this. That's that format because I, all I did was build that. We can also talk about building your own. So I am going to uh, first just give you some examples before we build our own from this text file that I did earlier. So this is the formula for this one. Again, this is all built from that same website and you can too. So this one, it has the 20 July Saturday, just like I showed it earlier. So I'm going to use control A and then hit delete to wipe the box clean. And then the year is in the front of this one. Just to give you some perspective. Okay, that one has the year. The day is abbreviated. Get the idea. I'm just going to use the arrow key this time. And this is more of a traditional format. Okay. I'm going to wipe this clean. Control A, delete. And uh, if you decide to copy and paste these into a text file, you can also put in your own notes, that kind of thing. All right, let's go back and build something. We can take these elements and drag them into here in any order you want. So you have the abbreviated for Saturday or the full name. Same thing goes with the month. So I'm going to use the traditional method and take Saturday and dump them up here. It produces a percent symbol A. All of these are in here. If you needed to actually get a, uh, a definition of what these percent symbols mean. Okay. So Saturday percent A. I'm going to take the whole month this time, July, instead of the abbreviated is a percent B. This is a lower percent B believe it or not. You can find that in the reference section. If you if this is covering your next element, just click over here in a blank area. All right, so we have the full name and uh, day of the month you probably want, which is percent %E. Keep in mind I can transpose those even later. This is all in raw format. We can add our spaces and dashes and all that good stuff later. All right, day of the month and the hour. 12 hour format is percent and if you put in percent H that will be in 24 hour format. All right, month number, I don't need that. Uh, minute of the hour, yes, I want that. Percent M, that's fair, fairly self-explanatory. Um, the meridian indicator here is only in the uppercase, which is a small percent P. If I change that to an uppercase P, That'll be the smaller AM and PM. Hopefully that was clear. I don't need seconds. Day of the week, no. Two, two digit year, I could do that, but it'll be confusing to you. I'll use the full. That's all I needed. Several ways to select this. You can use Control A. You can take your computer mouse and drag it across. Right click and copy or use Control C. I'll use right click and copy, right click and copy. Then paste that into the date format, not the tooltip box. 
I could also put it in the tooltip box if I wanted to keep that. You can now see that is in raw format. So I'm going to minimize that and bring this over to here and then scroll all the way over to the percent A and start over here. How much space do you want on that Saturday? Well, you can click right behind it and add more space if you like. I can also do it this way, add a comma to separate that. Now the July 20th, I can also transpose the B and the E and that will be 20 July. Let me separate this out so it'll be less confusing to you. I'll need to put a space also in there. So now that says July 20th. Okay. I'm going to put a dash in here. So that's uh, Saturday, July 20 dash. Now the time does not have a, uh, the two dots, the colon. So I'm going to walk my cursor over next to the eye and hit the colon, which is normally found very close to your enter key should be uh, two keys over to the left. Hit your shift key and it produces two dots. Okay. Then slide that over to M and put a space in there also right after the M. So now I have that and now I'm dealing with the year. So I'm going to scroll all the way over. And you'll see that percent Y. I'm going to click right before the percent and hit a space. And then I'm going to put a dash in there and another space just to give it a little buffer. If you uh, want this AM and PM in lowercase formats, change that lowercase P to an uppercase P. And that'll give you the lowercase AM and PM. It just works the opposite. Okay, I'm gonna convert that back. All right, so the reason I chose the four digit year instead of the two, instead of this one, this is why. A lot of people, if you change that Y, no pun intended, this will give you a 24 in the end. That can be confusing to some people. So that's why I prefer to use four digit year names. Okay, so that would be a percent big Y, in case of the 2024. Again, once you set this up the way you like it, I usually hit Control A and highlight the whole line. I copy that and I find my desktop, right click, create a new document and paste that. And then you can put whatever description you want on the back tail end. My notes, etc., etc. So this way, if you are reinstalling the system or you want to copy the same format to another computer that is running Mint, you can use this text file for that. These are extremely small. That is 49 bytes. I think that'll fit on anything, including USB sticks. You can also do the tooltip, but I'm not going to bother. So the tooltip will say that. But more importantly, you, you, you customize it however you want. And if you make a mistake, uh, I'll give you an example. If I remove the I out of here, you get a clock format error. If you want to start from scratch, you can certainly paste that back in there or you can fix it. Uppercase I, not lowercase. You noticed if I put the small I, I still got a clock format error because it doesn't exist in the library. Reference time, there we go, 12 hour clock. If I wanted the 24, I'd use an H, so I could actually do that in here. Now that would be a 24 hour clock. It would be useless to put the M and PM indicator if you have a percent H. Okay, because that'll turn into 1300 in about 20 minutes or so with an AM and PM indicator, because you told it to. All right, we probably want to do it that way. So far, so good. So again, you can make different elements, try them out, make yourself a text file like I did over here. Okay, put in different things in here. You can put as many lines as you want. 
and you can try them out and you can keep this file. And files like this are really small. It's a whopping 126 bytes. I think that'll fit on anything, including USB sticks. But uh, more importantly, this is how you can do the, your custom format. If you don't like it, turn it off. Turn it back on. Uh, and for you folks that are uh, want, not wanting to redo this, and you just wanted to move the 20 in front of July, it's very simple. Just get into that area where it's right here. You can uh, chase, change this to an E, sorry, small E, and then change this to an uppercase B. Now that becomes 20 July instead of July 20. There's all kinds of ways you can just play with these symbols. And again, if you get confused, um, you can always go back and open this web page up, Mike's web page, and look at your reference chart. Or build another one. Drag elements, build a whole bunch of these things. Try different ways. Or you can just keep it simple. Thank you for watching.